Let's look at the four leaf clover first. For this we realized we could send a line straight up and down and that would be a line of symmetry. We could also go left to right. So there's two already. But we could also cut through diagonally and we get a line of symmetry and we could cut through diagonally the other way. So this clover has four lines of symmetry. All right, next let's look at the butterfly. If we cut straight up and down, we have a line of symmetry. However, that's if we cut left and right, our butterfly is not symmetric, nor at any other angle. So the only line of symmetry is straight up and down. That gives our butterfly one line of symmetry. Now we have the queen of hearts. Okay, if we cut straight up and down, we don't get a line of symmetry. If we cut left and right, we don't get a line of symmetry. Because if we were to reflect this, this would then put the heart and the cue up top. And it would also put this heart and cue down below. Which isn't going to work. If we cut diagonally, still not going to give us a line of symmetry. So actually, the Queen of Hearts has no line of symmetry. There is a symmetry about the Queen of Hearts, and that's what we're going to talk about next in rotational sym symmetry. Rotational symmetry, so let's look at this. Line symmetry was when a figure can be mapped onto itself with a reflection. Rotational symmetry is when a figure can be mapped onto itself with a rotation and we specifically look for a rotation of a hundred degrees or less so less than or equal to hundred de 180 degrees this rotation can be either counterclockwise or clockwise with rotational symmetry, we have a center of symmetry, which is the point about which we rotate. And we'll also have an angle of symmetry. So let's go back up here and look at our queen of hearts. If we put this as the center, and if we were to rotate our card 180 degrees, we would get the queen of hearts again. So the queen of hearts has a rotational symmetry of 180 degrees about point A. We're going to label that point in the very middle, point A. Let's look at some other examples. Tell me whether or not the following shapes described below have rotational symmetries. If so, describe any rotations that map the figure onto itself. So again, as we saw with the line of symmetries, we can have multiple rotations of symmetry. Or we could have just one, or we could have none. If you need a little help getting started, your parallelogram is going to look like this. A regular octagon. It's going to look something like that. Imagine all the, shape, all the sides were congruent. It's going to look like a stop sign, actually. And a trapezoid going to look like this. Take a moment, try to work this out on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Alright, for a parallelogram, a full half turn, so 180 degree rotation, about, and we'll label point A, will give us a line, will give us a rotational symmetry. For the regular octagon, we can take it one, two, three, or full half turnaround. So we gotta figure this out. We could take a full 180 degrees. We could also do a quarter of that, which is 180 divided by four. That's a 45 degree turn. 90. 135 or 180. 